What is good C-Squad? I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be diving into the world of Meat Canyon. And if you don't know what Meat Canyon is, which you probably do because you're watching this video, but if you don't know, Meat Canyon is a channel on YouTube where they essentially make really twisted animations of your favorite childhood icons. And if you enjoy this video and want a part two, make sure to like and subscribe. I would like to check out some of their first videos ever. The first Meat Canyon video we're going to be checking out is Magic Man. But first, a word from today's sponsor, Raycon. We have worked with Raycon before on this channel, and since the last time we've worked together, my thoughts have not changed. The Raycon Everyday Earbuds are still the best earbuds out there, from the very affordable price, along with the multiple colors that you can choose from, but most importantly, these are super comfortable. They are extremely light, and with their new gel tips, they fit in my ear perfectly. So when I'm wearing them, I don't even notice that they're in there. However, when it comes to earbuds, my two main things that I care about, battery life and sound quality. Not only do you get 32 hours of battery life, just 10 minutes of charge will give you 90 minutes of battery life. That's kind of insane. And not only does it have natural sound cancellation, you have multiple different sound modes to choose from. You have pure sound, which is mainly for podcasts and audiobooks, balance sound where you can get the best of everything but my favorite is bass sound because I just love bass and these are my go-to earbuds for whenever I want to go for a walk or clean the house and best of all if you click the link in the description or if you go to buyraycon.com slash caj you can get 15% off on your Raycon purchases and thanks again Raycon for sponsoring today's video just looking at the thumbnail it doesn't even have the same art style that's actually crazy Seven years ago? <laughs> yes, it is I, the great Boozeef. Whoa, 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 whoa. How'd you get into my house? <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> the animation is so different. Like, I'll be honest, for his first ever animation, I mean, I'm assuming this isn't his first ever animation he's ever done. By the way, I'm going to keep saying he because the creator of Meat Canyon, his name is Hunter. He also has another channel called Papa Meat, which also coincidentally is one of my favorite channels on YouTube. But to be honest, I never really watched any of his Meat Canyon animations. The only ones that I've seen in its entirety, one of them was the Jawbreaker one. It was an Ed, Ed, and Eddie parody. And the other one was a Bugs Bunny one. Funny enough, it's not on his channel. It might have gotten taken down. Pick a card, but only one card. No, I seriously, I just want to know how you got into my house. What, what are you doing here? I just want to know. I said pick a f***ing card. <laughs> I love how it still has that that serious humor. Even seven years ago, Hunter, aka Meat Canyon, he always took more of a realistic humor approach. It's just so weird seeing this kind of art style and it being made by Meat Canyon. Now tell me, sir, what card did you get? I, I got a, I got a, it's a. It's a fish. What? <laughs> yes, now you've witnessed the true power of Bazeef, the omnipotent. Now bow to me. I said bow to me. Bow to me. See, this is the design that I'm way more familiar with when it comes to a Meat Canyon video with the grotesque and over detailed body. I don't know why, but Hunter seems to really like drawing boobs. For Meat Canyon's first ever video, it's honestly very well done. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say it's as good as his current work because obviously seven years makes a big difference. But I don't know, you can just still see that Meat Canyon charm to it, you know? So next, I want to check out his first ever animation that actually blew up. It's hard to convince Anakin Skywalker has 5.3 million views. Why did Mii Canyon give Mace Windu the biggest head possible? Okay, maybe the head is justified. Yo, the Sith, they ain't ever gonna return. You, my man, have lost. What is that voice? Is that Hunter trying to do his best Samuel Jackson impression? I'm sorry I keep calling him Hunter. I know it sounds weird because I don't actually know the guy, but since I watch his Papa Meat channel a lot, I kind of associate him as Hunter rather than Meat Canyon. No. 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 You. Ah! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was Hold on. I need to hear that again. Just listen to the background. No. 
no, you! I think... <laughs> Please tell me that's Hunter doing an acapella of Palpatine's theme. Okay, well, I don't know if it's Palpatine's theme. Whatever it was, it was fucking hilarious. I respect Hunter going the extra mile and doing that. Oh, goddamn! Anakin! The man is shooting lightning out of his hands! Uh, Anakin. Oh, Anakin. Oh, I, I, I Anakin! Is it really that hard to see how evil this motherfucker is right now? I'm not a massive Star Wars fan and I haven't seen the third one in a very long time, but I never understood why Anakin ever reasoned with Palpatine. If anyone watching this is a Star Wars guru and knows why Anakin didn't just kill Palpatine right there, please let me know in the comments. Also, why does Anakin's head remind me of Chad Squidward? Anakin, Anakin, please don't, don't let him kill me. Oh, I'm so weak. Oh. Oh, Annie! Too fucking weak! I'm... What the... What the hell was that? Oh my god. God. You know what this animation reminds me of? It was called Dragon Ball PP. I know this is a Meat Canyon video and we're kind of off track, but if you're a fan of Dragon Ball and you want a good laugh, watch this video. No! He must stand trial. Are you fucking kidding? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even. I was just gonna. Fuck. <laughs> I was gonna pause and mention this and the fact that he's holding a sword. I didn't even realize that George Lucas is just laying here. That is comedy gold. Also, I love how this isn't even animated, it's just regular text. What have I done? Good. The force is strong with you, young Skywalker. Oh my god, I feel so bad for Hunter. He had to have destroyed his throat doing that. Okay, so funny enough, the first animation to actually go viral for Meat Canyon was actually a Pinocchio parody, When You Wish Upon a Star. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this is their most viewed video. Yeah, it is. Well, actually, it's tied with their Mr. Beast video, which, of course, it's Mr. Beast. And there we go. All finished. Holy shit. You will look like a real boy, Papa. <laughs> you will one day, my little wooden boy. One day. I cannot wait any longer, Papa. <laughs> I must become flesh and bone. Dear God. Why is his whole body made out of wood? But his face does not look like it's made out of wood. Also, yeah, if you think about it, if Pinocchio was human sized, he would be a lot more terrifying. Also, every time I think of Pinocchio now, I think of this Pinocchio movie. I don't even care that this Pinocchio is a gay stereotype. It just looks like an awful animated movie. Okay, so real quick, I just want to watch this Jimmy Neutron one. Jimmy Neutron can't breathe because I loved Jimmy Neutron when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure Jimmy Neutron got canceled. All right. Stay still, Carl. I'm almost done. Uh, Jimmy, I don't know. I mean, I don't really want to be your guinea pig. Shut the fuck up, Carl! Is there a voice that Hunter can't do? His Carl impersonation is perfect. Also, this is why I love Meat Canyon's style of animation. Carl here looks actually kind of normal, you know, in terms of Carl's character in the show. But then you have Jimbo over here. His brain is literally bigger than his entire body. I don't know how the hell he even walks. You'll do what I want, or I'll have Goddard here bite your balls. Jimmy, you can't just sit here and just threaten me. It's not fair. Fair? You want to talk about fair, Carl? <laughs> Try being 11 years old and being the smartest human being to ever live! Yeah. God damn! My head expands every day! I'm always in extreme pain! Yeah, I was just saying that. Like, imagine being 11 years old and you are literally the smartest person to ever live. The two episodes that I remember from Jimmy Neutron the most was the time that Jimmy Neutron and Timmy Turner collabed and then they visited each other's world. And then for some reason, I also remember one where Jimmy and that blonde girl got stuck on an island. Calm down, Jimmy! <laughs> I can't calm down, Carl! The Amazon forest has been on fire for like six months! I can't breathe! There's no oxygen left! We're all gonna die! Jimmy, calm down! Oh, come on, Gunner, let's get the hell out of here! We got a blast! Uh, Carl, by the way, 
You say croissant like a fucking asshole! <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh man, we got robbed. I was hoping we'd hear Hunter's best impression of Carl saying croissant. Damn, that sucks. So obviously we can't do a Meat Canyon reaction without reacting to Jawbreaker. This was the first ever Meat Canyon video I've ever watched. I'm pretty sure I saw a clip of it on TikTok like way back in the day and I just decided to watch the full video and I loved it. So yeah, I've already seen this one, but I love it so much that we have to watch it. Listen, dork! Don't put your trash on my door, you hear me? 25 cents. Damn. What? 25 cents is all it takes, Kevin. God damn, this is so good. The beginning is so good. First off, I love this beginning scene right here, seeing the cul-de-sac and then hearing that eerie music in the background. And I think the thing that really caught me off guard when I first watched this, again, four years ago, I didn't know what a Meat Canyon animation was. I didn't know what a normal Meat Canyon video looked like. So when I first saw Kevin, I was like, damn, this looks really good. And the outlines of the character even wiggle, like how it did in the show and then you go from this to this like oh my god double d here does not look real once again with the titties in the meat canyon videos you can tell his boobs sag all the way down to his waist pretty much for what another one of your loser projects <laughs> no to see god I never noticed this, but this stare that Double D gives to Kevin, Jesus. And also it should go without saying that the voice acting by Hunter is incredible in this video. Have you ever wanted to see something so beautiful, so unattainable? Where, where's Johnny? He's witnessing perfection. What do you mean? Matter of fact, where is everyone today? I just love the concept of this video. You take such a wholesome show like Ed, Ed, and Eddie, basically a show about three kids just wanting jawbreakers and trying to pull off schemes to afford said jawbreakers, but then you flip it on its head like this. Technically, it's still a scheme. The Ed boys are still trying to make money to afford a jawbreaker, but they're doing it in a very cult-like style. I don't really know how else to word it. They are all a part of something far greater. They have seen something so pure that their hearts oh my can God. no The voice acting is great. And it's right behind that door. This, this, this fucking, this frame right here is perfect. Straight up, they look like crackheads. They look otherworldly. It's just so good. Whatever, dork, just take it and leave me alone. Holy shit. Did you, did you see that? Good lord. You want to talk about otherworldly? Also, Double D is just staring at the camera. <laughs> what? Uh, uh. what is that? That's so messed up, man. So creepy. Now, who wants a jawbreaker? I remember the first time watching this and seeing Ed turn into this. It was so gross. Also, he only has like three fingers. To be fair, from what I remember, Ed was pretty strong in the show. Like, didn't Ed literally take off the foundation of a house in the show? Now, I know we've been watching a lot of Meat Canyon's older videos, but now we're gonna watch my favorite Meat Canyon video, and it's called Cat in Het. Now, I have no idea who voiced the cat character in this video. Video, which by the way if you couldn't tell this is a cat in the hat parody but whoever voices the cat in this video went all out literally i love the the dr seuss inspired art style mixed in with the meat canyon art style also poor fish he can't even fit in his bowl hey guys i'm the cat 
cat in the hat and I'm here today to show you a good time while your mother's away. By the way, sorry, I should have done a headphone user warning. It's just the design of the cat is so good. Like he doesn't look like he belongs in this universe. His texture constantly moves on his mane. He has regular human teeth on the top and shark-like teeth on the bottom. Also, I can't tell if that's a gold tooth or a rotten tooth. Check this out! Wow, look at us! We're having such a fun time! Oh, that's their grandfather's ashes! Put that down this instant! <laughs> Again, there's the Meat Canyon special. They decided to give this regular ass fish this massive, grotesque, over animated human hand. God, I love this so much. I even love how the cat's neck is literally just a string, so it makes his head look like a balloon. And who might you be, you little fucking fish bastard? <laughs> you little fishy cut? Who might you be, my little fishy fuck? Fucky fucky fucking suck? I'm gonna fucking suck the fish. I'm gonna put the fish in my. Hall. <laughs> How do you say that with a straight face? I would never have been able to say that without laughing my ass off. Well, I'm the family fish, you see. Now, I watch your- <laughs> Alright, who wants to see a magic trick? Let's watch all of your mom's most precious possessions disappear! These two right here is peak character design. I would genuinely love to know what goes through Hunter's mind when he's coming up with the design of the characters. Breaking news tonight from Anvil, where a series of break-ins have been sweeping suburban neighborhoods. Subject has appeared to be a six foot three anamorphic black cat with a large red hat and bow tie. Reports are saying that the subject is known to blend in with crowds and that many should stay indoors. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, the people at Meat Canyon really love the realistic humor. Yeah, if a six foot three anamorphic black cat walked into your house, you'd probably want to run, even if he's played by Mike Myers. Oh, Ah, she's home. Okay, come on, fellas. It's time to get the f out of he here. <laughs> Don't forget the next time you're bored, your good buddy Cat in the Hat will be here to bring you all a good bundle of fun. This right here is the most demonic, scary, horrifying still image I have ever seen. His neck is literally a string, and then out of that string is this entire monstrosity. Oi! You f***ing reek! You left the clock at the front door! Wait, what? Wait... <laughs> Wait, am I crazy? You left the clock at the front door! Was, was that intentional? I'm pretty sure it was just an accident. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. And again, if you want me to check out more Meat Canyon videos, then make sure to like and subscribe. And have a good rest of your day.